Welcome back to another deep dive where I go over anything and everything FPS related, whether that's Call of Duty, Destiny, X Defiant, or anything that I'm just kind of interested in and feel like I want to share to you guys. So let's find out what we're diving into now, shall we? You know, I don't know any other way to start this video off by saying thank you. Thank you, David Vanderhaar, for the past 18 years in a Call of Duty project. Today, he wrote to us and to his co-workers, to my co-workers at Treyarch, I am immensely grateful for the time we invested to improve our craft, never sitting on successes and always wondering how to improve what we design and how we produce it. Thank you to the Call of Duty community for your passion and enthusiasm. The energy that was often fueled our determination as a studio and as individuals. I will always be grateful for the opportunity to interact with so many of you directly online and in person. This energy will always be a massive part of me and I am staying in the games industry working on an undisclosed project. Can't discuss it yet but I am excited about this rare and unique opportunity and I can only imagine something that excites David is only going to bring out the best out of him and I know much like you guys we all wish him the best going forward into the next chapter of his career. Now yesterday we covered the Saturday Siege event and that was going to happen in Call of Duty but I think after 24 hours of just sitting back on it and just really thinking to ourselves like you know thinking on it I think the goat himself Scump summarizes pretty much all our feelings on this as a whole. Okay. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> oh my god. I was sitting there thinking it the whole time. They hit us with the 50 tier battle pass. They <laughs> fucking called it, dude. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it was definitely cool, but I was expect I was expecting a little gameplay in there, just a, just a little bit, maybe. <laughs> okay. Bro, I was just trying to not say shit. Oh so. no, dude! They have, they have I don't want you to get me wrong. The event was fun, and the twist at the end where the Russians come out and whoa, 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 kill their crew was pretty dope, and and. I'm excited to see where that goes, but I'm really hoping to see some gameplay because I mean, we know that a lot of the CDL pros and some of our favorite content creators got to go out and play like an early build of the game, which is a really cool experience. And I mean, if the hype is not appropriately been built and if the hype hasn't appropriately been built, then Jay got saying that after playing what the game is going to be, he has no interest in playing the current build of the game. Like I didn't have a ton of interest in playing the current version of the game. Huh? Right, but now that I've played the other one, I have like no interest in playing the current version <laughs> of the game. And we know we're gonna get this new movement mechanic called like the tax dance, which is basically in between full ADS and like hip fire. And you're gonna be able to slide around and shoot and even cancel where you want to slide. It's crazy, it's coming back, it's been confirmed. So even though there's been no gameplay leak, we know that movement is returning. Aiden gives us a glimpse of what it's gonna look like. Do an outro to fit. It's a power <laughs> This man, no, I love it. Oh, sh oh, sh uh, that. <laughs> Damn, that hurt my knee. I got rug burn, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> hey, here, hey, you have it here first. Aiden said movement is back. It's crazy. That's what he said right now with that that sliding stuff. You know. I don't know about you guys, but I think this all confirms that snaking is going to be a part of the game because, well, in all seriousness, when when people were playing, Hector was in the back of the spawn trying to find the cheese i mean he says it himself i'm gonna I say this already, i think there's already one in the play test that i'm gonna say this there was you guys were doing like you guys were playing the game right i played one game only the rest of the other games i was in the back of the spawn trying yep. to figure out cheese oh same I, and i found it <laughs> and it's so cool to, to hear that these guys are experiencing this uh, this new game firsthand and that they're saying hey movement's coming back Sledgehammer confirms that the headshot multiplier is being lowered and the time to kill is being increased. I think Aiden summarizes it up pretty well here about the Call of Duty dads and their current state. Yeah. I think the dads are fun. <laughs> <laughs> But I think that we're going to wrap up the video as of recording this and it going up on YouTube. I'm probably going to be live over on Kick Watch Partying, Call of Duty's King of Call of Duty event. Damn. Yeah, I like the way these guys moving, Hector. Ooh. Oh, my God. Hector, I like the way you like moving, that? You like that? Oh, my God. This pro look looking like it's nasty. Bro, I feel bad, He's snapping. He's snapping. This man didn't get to play for a whole year because people fucking blacklisted him, bro. 
Uh, this guy? Yeah, I feel bad yeah. for him. Yeah, it's fucked up, bro. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, quick. it sucks. Dude, this guy's nasty. Shit. Oh, dude, this guy's straight nasty. Like, oh my god. Into a land trap. Nate, they got smoked. You shit on them? Yeah, he, he, yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah. god, that's bad. He said, oh my god, that's bad. <laughs> So this guy, he's actually the truth, huh? Him and Sully? I mean, he's good. I like this guy. Yeah, Blast was the one. That's why they don't fuck with each other. That's why this match is kind of important, because, like... Oh, that's some extra context. And Shifty fucking hate each other. Oh, my God. It's going to be a five-part event over three weeks. And this past Wednesday was Warzone Wednesday, and today is Search and Destroy Friday. It's hosted by Zuma and Repulse, just a great combo. And it's a lot of fun, and we had a lot of fun on Wednesday. So come over to your favorite streaming platform, Kick, and hang out with your favorite Soto Reek and me. And if you liked the video, you found anything insightful, please like and subscribe. We are on our way to 500 subscribers, and every new person is felt within this kingdom. If you've already subbed, share this with your friends who want to stay caught up in all the gaming and Call of Duty and eventually X Defiant news whenever that comes out. But as always, I challenge all of you. Make somebody laugh today, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Sledgehammer Games is gonna be refining the combat in Modern Warfare 3, and this is exactly what I mean. The core mechanics of Modern Warfare 3 will be bringing exceptional freedom of choice, movement, and customization to your gameplay. Tax Dance is gonna be Call of Duty's new addition that balances mobility and accuracy, allowing for evasive maneuvers and aggressive engagements. It's available on most weapons, including those carried forward from Modern Warfare 2, and can be dynamically toggled anytime during the gameplay. Sliding has enhanced with offensive capabilities. By default, Tax Dance is allowed during a slide, and equipable perks enables ADS precision. Additional tuning increases the controller over slide direction and the option to cancel the animation to get back on your feet. Getting caught during a reload shouldn't mean the end of your kill streak. While reloading a weapon with ammo remaining in the magazine, you can get back into the fight by canceling that reload animation. In the upcoming month, Sledgehammer is going to be sharing more information, and when they do, I'm going to be sharing it with you. So make sure to like, follow, and come join me over on kickkick.com or trust Elrod. We're basically streaming every day, and if not over on Kick, go over on YouTube at actually Elrod. Why upload every day?